Hi, and welcome to our YouTube channel called My Project Ideas. And in this video, we will be looking at a course fee management system. Uh, and we will be using string to create a GUI. So this will be a very long code because we will have a lot of GUI elements in our, in our program. And what we, what we essentially want to make via this program is an, is an efficient application by which we can see what, uh, what is the amount of money that a student needs to pay. So it is kind of like a fee, fee receipt kind of system here. So uh, as you see, we have a long list of imports here because we want to import all of the different swing components and the swing framework here. We will also be uh, importing the print and the printer here because, we, because in this entire application, we have a particular option that we want to give to the users where the user can also print out the fee receipt details. We'll have the IO and the IO exception normally. So here you see we have a long list of labels that we'll be using, a long list of text fields that we'll be using. We'll have two text areas. So these two, these two text areas will be some designated place in, inside our JFrame, where we will be showing the user uh, after the user has selected from all of the various menus, we will be showing to the users what the user has selected and the amount of fees that, that the user needs to pay depending on what, what stream of study the user has chosen whether the user wants to stay in the hostel, whether the user wants to be a day scholar and so on and so forth. So these two text areas will do that. We have, we also have a long list of radio buttons here uh, because we'll be using several, we'll be giving the user several options to select between streams and between hostel and day scholar and uh, so on and so forth. We'll also be implementing a file chooser called F1 here. Okay, so now we move on to our main component, which will take a lot of the code is the fee program. This will basically have the entire GUI set here. So we'll have labels for fee report, name of the student, fee name of the father. We have uh, the roll number, as you can see, these are the set bounds are the, we are setting the bounds of each of the labels here. Uh, roll number, we have a bounds here, email ID, then we have a contact, we have an address. We have a text area and we'll also set the bounds of the text area. We have a gender, we set the bounds here. We will have uh, the first radio button to choose between male and female. We'll have a button group PG and we will add R5 and R6 here. So uh, male and the female buttons here. We'll have another label for nationality. We will have a text label here to enter the nationality. So we'll have a year of passing as another label here. Um, and we will have several options here, 2016, 2015, 2014, in, implemented inside our combo box here that we can select. We will again set the bounds here. We'll have another label called year of passing 12th standard here. This was 10th standard. Again, we'll have a combo box here. We'll have the amount of marks scored in class 10 and the text field to enter the marks. We'll have a percentage and something to enter the marks. Again, a text field here. We will have an icon here, but then this is not really important. You can just add any image in your in your uh, in your program, whatever you have handy, just to create a better user interface for the user. Yeah, and then we we will have another combo box uh, here called groups offered. Then we'll have two radio buttons for SEAS and SL, SLABS. So these are like various different components of study. So the various programs of study, as you can see here. Then we'll have another option for hosteler where if where we want to select between radio button, if the student is a hosteler or the student is a day scholar, because the fees will depend upon uh, according what the, the, the student is opting for. We'll set another group of buttons here. Um, now we'll come to the streams. We have, we'll have uh, these five options here inside combo box here. A final J, J label here called a, or a show button where if you click this button, it will just kind of show you whatever you had selected uh, in all of this, in all of the uh, components here. Okay, now, now we want to add all of these here. So CSE is, so the fees of each of the streams here, CSE, EC, and, and all the rest of the streams. So the fees are the same here, as you can see. Yeah, okay. Um, then we'll have, then we'll set the, set the bounds. So we'll add all of these into a list and we'll set the bounds here. And then this will essentially be a list of the different types of hostels and the various uh, fees for the various sharing options. So we'll have a two share, three share, five share, eight share, and so on. And we'll also have a bus charge. So like, so taking the students to and from college every day, 
for for and their transportation cost as you have, uh, if, if you like to call it so and finally we will have a button called generate receipt so in this in this button if if you click this button what you essentially want your program to do is give you a list of whatever you had selected with the total amount of fees that the student has to pay depending on what the student has selected what what his courses and so on we'll have another button called the reset button so when you press this button ideally your program should uh, remove all of the values stored in the various components to to null values or initial values so that you can uh, enter details of another student here and finally we'll also make a button called print button because it is always very important that we give the option of printing out a, a student fee receipt especially so these are the buttons and we set the dimensions here okay we have another area text here and we will set the bounds of the area text here as well. And as you can see, there's a long list of add functions where we'll add all of the various uh, components that we had used earlier. Now comes functionalizing the buttons here. We, we will add a function to the button B. And in this, in this function, this will, this will just select the group that you have selected. So um, for example, the stream that you have selected here and the hostel, hostel with the facility selected here. So depending on what your sharing option was, so these two if blocks will will give you the, all of those all of those values here, and label the text set text data will will essentially be so whatever you had selected will be set to your label here and inside the data and essentially we will want to um, show the user what you have selected by changing this data uh, argument everywhere. So that's that's why you see label dot set text at the end here and also here. Okay, now we come to the button called reset. This is button B2. And in this button, we would want everything to be cleared. So you see all of all null values so that we give the um, user a chance to enter all of the different details of another student. Now, now comes the final uh, button called the print button. And we, would, we, we are functionalizing the button by adding an action listener here and an action event is being passed as an argument. We will, we will try to print whatever information is there in area two. So area two was only there for the printing part. And as you can see, we implemented inside the try catch block because we, we are printing it and there can also always be a, also, uh, always be a printer exception that, that can come unexpectedly in our code. If there is such, then this exception will be handled here and we will have a no printer found message that our program will give us. Okay. Now, now comes the part where we create the receipt for the user. And this is that button called the receipt button where we have functionalized the button by adding an action listener and passing an action event as an argument. So this is this will be the format how it looks. So we'll have a few receipt just for styling purposes. And we'll just uh, output all of the values that the user had entered for these arguments here. Parameters, okay. Now, depending on what the stream the, the the student had chosen, depending upon whether it was engineering, whether it was arts and sciences, whether it was a hosteler, whether it was a day scholar. So all of those ones will be selected here. Finally, uh, it will be set. So the, so the area two will be set depending on what the user had chosen here. So had chosen here uh, area two and area two as well here. Both of these will simply just set the selected values on top here. And here, is, uh, finally, depending upon all the choices of the user, we will have the various amounts that the user, that the user needs to pay. So we have uh, 4 lakhs, we have 3.9 lakhs, 3.8 lakhs, 3.7 lakhs, uh, so on and so forth. So obviously, all of these values are varying because of the various uh, possibilities of combinations that the user can select. So for example, if the user selects CSE as their stream and a tool sharing option, it can come out to be 4 lakhs. If if it if the user chooses CAC and eight sharing option, it can come out with three point seven x. So these are like just examples of the various combinations that are possible. Finally, we will we will try to print out the receipt, and we will also store the 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 entire fee receipt inside inside a file, and that is the reason why we will create an object of the file writer class here, and we will set the name of the file to java.txt. You can you can use any any naming. Uh, any file name that you want here. And all of this, so the entire text in area two will be 
written inside our created file by using the write function of the file writer class here. Again, we'll have an exception for in case an unexpected uh, uh, happens if an unexpected exception happens here and is caught here. Finally, we uh, after everything is saved here, we will print out a data save successfully uh, message here because we would want to know uh, want to let the user know that this that this file has been written and the fee receipt has been saved inside the computer safely. Finally, we will also have an exit menu here where if you press it, it's just gonna gonna exit from the entire application. So we will be using the system dot exit zero uh, function here. We will set size of our frame here or the swing window here. We'll set the layout, we'll set visible to true, and we'll set the background to a color cyan color. Again, you can you can play with this color, you can try to experiment with any other any other colors here. This is our main method here. And in the main method, we will simply be creating a new object of the fee class here. And let's see if we compile this. It should run. Yeah, so you see, it is it is quite a big application that you had created because uh, because the code was also pretty long. Long, so so this code is mainly heavy in GUI, especially because the other ones are just if and else if and else blocks and trying to extract data from the various feeds here. So name of student. So if I put a random name here, name of father, and I input roll number as one. I put an email uh, email ID as example at the gmail.com i had contact information as some random number here we give an address um, india we select a gender here a nationality as india again year of passing choose a 15 first passing choose a 17 point secured some random numbers as 90 and 90. we choose a fee report here called seas and we have the various groups offered here. So the groups are essentially the streams that I'd mentioned while explaining the code. So we choose CAC, we choose a hosteler. So we want to um, stay in the hostel. So you see, these are the various different uh, course fees that you have. So if I choose CAC, my fees is two lakh 50,000 rupees. If I choose the hostel settings, it's two share is one lakh 50, three share is one lakh 40 and so on and so forth. So I chose a hosteler, so I will choose an eight sharing room and let me see. Yeah, you have selected CSE and hospital facility of eight sharing. Now I want to generate the receipt. Okay, yeah. So you see in this entire thing, we have the fee receipt here. We have the name, father's name and all of the details that we've been ent uh, entered here. We have everything here. We have the stream and we have the hostel and we also have the total fees that the student needs to pay here. And we also have a dialog box that opens up when I click this button and it just says data saved successfully. This just means that I have a file in my computer right now, which has stored the data that is here in a text file. So that if I want to print it out, I can simply press, I can simply print it out from there or I can like to print it out from here as well. Okay, yeah. I, Hope you like this particular code. I know this was quite a long program here, uh, but if you like this and if you want to want to know more about such projects, make sure to like and share this video, and also make sure to subscribe to this channel for more content here. Mm -hmm.